going to start up a second part. Just in case the heater jacks up the audio, I don't have to go back and do a whole bunch of editing. I've gone in a massive circle. I never cease to be amazed what could be done by the Unity engine. Like, I really want to sit down with Matthew Cohen and ask him some questions about how, you know, his feelings about working with um, the Unreal Engine to produce Paranormal, which is actually a really fun little little game, and I'm always willing to, to pay for updates from him. And sort of ask him, like, it, what his feelings of the Unity engine are. Like, for his, the purpose of making these kind of little horror games. You know, if something gets me, I'm so fucked. I'm going to be spinning around in circles and I have any idea what's going on. Okay, I don't recall passing these, but then I wasn't really paying any attention. I must have this at the beginning of the game. Alright, let's see what we got. Let's actually do a... Let's start investigating shit. Obviously, I'm missing something here. Give me your... Power st exit power station. That is your command. The one commandment system. Get the fuck out. You know, I don't even think you'll hear the heater over this droning sound effect. <laughs> In fact, it might add some some interesting ambiance. I'm really curious, like, if it's just sort of a creepy kind of maze. All right. Really good for this game would be the ability to pick up objects and drop them. If I can leave a pass path vis a vis that weird little fairy tale about the kids in the forest with the witch at the, the candy house, is that Hansel and Gretel? Yeah. I never saw that movie, by the way. I should sit down and watch that piece of crap. Even look at it like I would just love that horror game where it's like, oh, I got out for free. There, you know, I love it when you have a movie or game like that too, or like a movie where you have that setup, you have that that opportunity for the hero to escape. And they call him a hero for a reason, and the reason why the hero chooses not to escape at that very moment. I think it was a wonderful little horror movie from 2011. It was Australian, one of those point of view horrors where they actually get to an area where they could escape, but they have to double back for one of their friends, who's not actually dead at the time. Sorry, blow my nose again. <clears throat> so I love it when they do that. They get, they get that tension like in other creative ways. And that's one thing that I, I really kind of bothers me about games like Resident Evil, is that foil, the foil of the for lack of better words, the damsel in distress, and obviously it doesn't have to be female, is uh, not very well used. I don't think I've been in here yet. Well, except for with Richard, but then of course you get to get the poison and that's over with in like a few seconds he's dead anyway. Spoilers. Did I go through here before? I can't tell. I'm wondering if this is like all randomly generated. I'm guessing I did, because I remember all this. Alright, I need to stop walking in circles. Is there a map? Okay. 
Okay, let's get someplace where I can get some better idea of what's going on. Okay. Here is the beginning of the game. That is down there. So let's go ahead and we'll take a right this time. there was nothing. I've been through there. I don't think there was anything down here either. Here's the tunnel. I'm going to go back down the tunnel again. are necessary. Brawny picker up her own. Imagine the strength. Alright, come on. There's gotta be something going on down here. seems to be taking me down a level. Alright. This all looks familiar. I took both of these paths. That one back there was a dead end. Pretty certain of that. So I'm redoubling back to here. Okay, so I was just being a complete idiot. That's pretty much it. Nothing but duct tape? Like that you're gonna leave that behind, man? Duct tape? Handyman secret weapon. I've done plenty of amazing things with Dead Island with duct tape. I can see that's water of coolant. I'm going to go ahead and take a brief break, and I will be right back. I need to address something. 